I mean, where where it begins, I feel like you're going to have gotten this answer before. Where it begins is Dallaire's book of Greek myths. Dallaire's is this, like, classic, you know, book about Greek myth. Not about Greek myth, like, retelling Greek myth um, for, for kids. And it's... I mean, I think at this point they have it in a few different formats, but like it was a big, you know, slightly larger than probably necessary hardcover, like full page illustrations, very immersive, very um, accessible. And um, that combined with we would in school sometimes do um, for whatever our elementary school drama, you know, once a week thing was, every now and then we would act out different Greek myths, and that was just always something that that I was interested in. It was mythology that sort of led to the ancient world more at large. It was, you know, being interested in the ancient world that sort of led to looking at more of the history. Um, we also have the computer game Civilization, throw that in there. That's another very significant part of why I ended up studying classics. So that, that all, you know, just sort of kept feeding into itself. Um, and then it was, I guess, when I got to seventh grade um, that I first had the opportunity to take Latin class. And at that point, we weren't reading anything that was, you know, a real ancient text. Oh, I mean, I guess there's also, um, you know, I had, of course, come across the, the Iliad and the Odyssey. Hadn't actually, like, read them uh, until middle school. Um, I think I read the Iliad for the first time in eighth grade. And then the Odyssey, maybe I didn't read the whole thing until high school. You know, certainly the, the story of the Trojan horse, something you pick up along the way. And so the, I started taking Latin in seventh grade, and at that point, not really reading anything that was authentic, as much as uh, Ecce Romani, carriages and ditches, you know, how are they going to get it out? How? They're not. That's, that's the answer.